Hello everyone, I haven't been lazy at all recently. In this episode of more stuff that happened in the 1.16 update, we're taking a look at the differences between the netherite stuff and the diamond stuff to see how much better the netherite stuff is compared to the diamond stuff. To first start off, we have the swords. Now, the swords on Java versus Bedrock actually do different damage, and so do the, well, all of the tools actually do. Um, I only marked down what it was for the pickaxe and the axe I believe as well as the sword but I didn't do the rest just because it's not really super important just know that bedrock essentially always does half a heart more damage except in the case of the axe which we'll see in a second anyways getting on to this Java as you can see four hearts of damage compared to the three and a half that the diamond sword does the durability is astronomically more it's almost by a factor of like 470 did i do math right i don't know probably not but anyways moving on on the bedrock edition as you can see same dealio except it has one extra durability on each i, I don't actually know why quite frankly but as you can see it does four and a half hearts which is half a heart more damage and then the diamond sword does four hearts moving on to the pickaxe which is actually more of a viable weapon weapon than I would have anticipated. I didn't realize it did three hearts of damage, at least the netherite one does. As you can see, the durability is the same thing. It's the same thing for all tools, but you know, I put it there anyways. The netherite pickaxe does three hearts of damage and the diamond pickaxe does two and a half, which like I said, makes it much more viable as a weapon than I would have anticipated. It does take two damage for every one hit that you get in. So it's not efficient, but like if you if you're if you're kind of like panicking, it's not actually like a terrible maneuver. Anyways, this 8.35 seconds thing is actually the duration that it takes to break obsidian with the netherite pickaxe. So it's not too much faster. Maybe with efficiency five, we'll actually see it be a lot faster. I actually can't wait to test that out. Actually, you know what? Let's put up a side by side of both these pickaxes breaking obsidian just so you can see how much faster it is. And then here's the pickaxes with efficiency five. Moving on to the axes now, as you can see, I split them up between Java and Bedrock Edition because the damage is actually quite a bit different. As you can see, the durability increase from diamond to netherite is the same as the previous items. The 0.35 seconds refers to how long it takes to chop down a log. So it's a whole 0.05 seconds faster, but quite frankly, it was like one of the best differences that I could think of. It's probably the most common thing that you're going to use a ax for is chopping down trees. So I figured that would be the most most important stat to put up. Uh, as you can see, it's not like a whole lot different. Um, I think maybe with efficiency five, it'll feel a little bit nicer, but yeah, other than that, basically the same. And then moving on to the hearts, as you can see, the Java edition for netherite does five hearts. The Java edition for the diamond ax does four and a half hearts. So it does a half a heart more damage with the netherite. Uh, but then as you can see on bedrock, the ax actually does a lot less damage. And I can't remember exactly why. I think it's because the ax has like a sweeping effect on the Java edition. So yeah, now moving on, we have the shovel. As you can see, there's not a whole lot to talk about here. The durability changes are the same as the previous items, um, but instead of taking 0.15 seconds to break a grass block, I can talk, it now takes only 0.1 seconds. That's such a massive difference. <laughs> and then we move on to the netherite and diamond hose. This is where it kind of gets an interesting because while I did feature certain things like the grass block for this, the logs for that, and then obsidian for that, the only breakable difference that the hoe has is actually sponge. The rest of this, these have other usages where they do break things faster. Some things they break equivalent to each other. But in this case, the netherite hoe and the diamond hoe break things at the same rate across the board, except sponges, which as you can see is only by a factor of 0.05 seconds again. Uh, and that's literally the only difference. I think this is for both sponges and wet sponges. And now we move on to the armors. And as you're gonna notice the defensive points stay the same for all these armors. Uh, whether it's diamond or netherite, they have the same amount of defensive points as each other. The only thing that changes is durability and the helmet and chest plate have knockback resistance. So as you can see for the helmet, the durability is 407 up from the 363 of the diamond helmet. The netherite chest plate has a 592 durability and is up from the 528 of the diamond chest plate. And also, like I said, has knockback resistance. I would have liked it if they added some sort of 
special buff like they did with the knockback resistance to the leggings and the boots. I think that would have been kind of cool. But the only difference is sadly between the two is the durability once again. Uh, and in this case, 555 durability for the netherite pants and the diamond pants have 495 durability. And then lastly, the netherite boots have 481 durability, which is up from the 429 durability of the diamond boots. Uh, but yeah, they give you the same amount of defensive points. They really just only have a little bit more durability. So is there a whole lot of reason? Uh, maybe you're a fan of the knockback resistance. That's kind of more a thing for PvP, in my opinion. Um, it also might help with skeletons as well. I'm not really too sure about that. Um, but yeah, anyways, moving on, there is one last thing that I wanted to talk about, two last things that I wanted to talk about. And and that is the netherite does not burn in lava no netherite items burn in lava at all uh, but then you see this part that says except when it does because there was actually a bug out and this might have been patched in the 1.16.1 update um, but I'm not too sure about that so do be careful about throwing your netherite in lava because there is a bug that will cause it to burn in lava and then lastly netherite is non-renewable so use mending um, this is important in my opinion because netherite is only a limited resource in your world diamond tool or something that you can get over and over again from villagers but netherite itself is a very limited resource so there you go guys these are the differences between the netherite and diamond armors gears weapons and tools and whatnots if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like on it and if you guys want more minecraft content hit subscribe it means a lot to me it makes my day it makes my makes my world no but seriously guys the, the support that i've been getting recently has been incredible i know i'm talking really fast because i'm trying to get this out really quickly anyways hey have a wonderful rest of your day you're a wonderful person. I love you. Goodbye.